In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this vintage, shabby chic Christmas angel. I want to welcome you all to Creative by Nature DIY and Decor. My name is Donna. So for this project, you want to start off with a wood bead that is flat on one side. It's like a drawer pull as well as a mini wood pot. And you're going to glue both of these pieces together using some hot glue. Allow the glue to set and then give them both a coat of some paint in the color of your choosing. I am using champagne gold put out by Deco Art. So you can pick up these wood round beads from thrift stores, craft stores. You could probably even get a drawer pull from the hardware store. And these wood pots are from the craft store. Next, you're going to need a selection of textured yarns as well as some fabrics. This is some lace tablecloth and some cheesecloth as well as some coffee dyed cotton fabric. Here I have some trim with some iridescent sequins and beads and assorted ribbons and trims and lace. These are spools of lace from the dollar stores. So I have all my pieces cut down to assorted sizes and in different piles. And what I'm gonna do is choose a selection and layer them in my hand. We are going to be creating kind of like a tassel. So you will want to mix up all your different textures within your hand and layer them all together. This is gonna just look so gorgeous. Just wait until you see. Continue to layer your pieces until you get the desired look that you like. So I have all my trims and fabric and laces all put together and some of them are too long so I'm just pulling on one end and trimming off the excess. You can save those extra pieces for a later project. So now that you've got that all done, you are going to place a string down flat and then lay your cluster flat on top and tie the string in the middle of your cluster. I am going to be wrapping this around twice and tying it tight with a knot. So I am just going to cut some of my fabric ends on an angle. I just felt that the blunt end was just a little too harsh for this project. I've set my fabric cluster aside and now I'm focusing on the body. Again, I'm using an assortment of laces and as you can see, there is a trim on one edge of it and they're kind of ruffled. So I am just going to start to layer these pieces and I'm going to attach them using some hot glue. We're creating kind of like a skirt look here. So I'm just adding a little bit of hot glue along the way and then pressing the edge into the glue. Just be careful that you don't burn your fingers. My glue gun is a lower temp glue gun, so it makes it a little bit easier to handle. Once you have their first layer on, you can continue on with a different lace and you're going to start off in the same spot. This will be the back side of our angel. I'm creating a bit more of a pleated look here by pressing and squishing the lace into the glue differently. That will just add a bit more of a ruffle. So I'm going to continue to add my lace. I end up needing to use a different width lace for the top and I will be showing you that in a moment. Okay, so for this next step though, you are going to need an eye hook. 
but I made a big mistake here and I'm going to show you what I did wrong here in a moment. So originally I was going to play, I placed my eye hook in the middle, but you don't want to do that. You want to place your eye hook towards the back of the top of the head and that will allow the angel to hang properly. So um, I did go ahead and screw this into the top and that's when I discovered that this just was not going to work. I do have a fix for it and I will be showing you what I did here in a minute, but I just wanted to show you my correction before you yourself continue on with this project. So once you have your eye hook properly placed, you can then go ahead and add the thinner width lace here around the neck. And again, I'm just adding some pleating just to give it some more ruffle. Okay, so now I'm adding some hair. I've got this really fun textured yarn and it makes great hair. You can go ahead and use doll hair if you have some or if you can get some at the craft store. Use whatever you like. You don't even need to add hair if you don't want, but I'm just creating some clusters and I am going to just tie the cluster in the middle and then cut through the loops. I'm now going to create another cluster and this one is going to go towards the back of the head. This one's going to be a lot thicker. Once you have your clusters all complete, you want to make sure you are working on the back side of your angel first. I'm just making sure that my eye hook is lined up appropriately so it will hang properly. And then I'm going to use my thicker cluster of hair and I'm going to glue that to the back side of the head. I'm just adding a little bit of glue on the underside at the back of the head. That'll help hold some strands in place. You're gonna go ahead with your smaller cluster and add that into the front. Now, I did two separate clusters because I didn't want it to be too bulky on the very top of the head. This allowed it just to spread out nice and evenly. Okay, so now for the wings. I have a selection of just some regular natural fabric, some lace and some coffee dyed fabric. I am going to cut these down into smaller pieces and then I will be layering them. Here I am just gathering the fabric just to check for measurement, just to see how wide I need to make my fabric. And here I'm just scrunching this fabric up. I wanted to create a bit of more of a frayed edge. And now I have folded it up and I'm just going to round off the corner. That will just create a smoother look. I like the look of the layered fabrics and the assortment of fabrics. That just goes along with all the different textures that I have in my cluster as well as in the skirt that I had created. I have all my fabrics cut down to size and layered. This piece is the back side here and this is going to be the front. So now I am just taking a piece of string and I am going to tie it off in the middle. I just want to make sure that it's gathered so you can create a wing type shape as you can see right here. So now I'm going to uh, place the wings at the back side towards the head and the neck base, as you can see right here. So I'm just generously applying some glue to the middle and then I'm going to press that into the back side as shown. And you want to make sure you allow that to set well. So here I've just made a simple little lace bow and I am going to attach that at the neck. That'll just finish that off nicely. 
Here I decided to give my angel a bit of a bang and I did that because I just felt like there was just too much forehead. Uh, this is completely by choice. I just preferred this look and you'll see how it looks once I create the halo. So I'm just adding a touch of hot glue again just to help hold the hair into place. Okay, so now for the halo. I got this iridescent pipe cleaner from Michaels and it is so, so pretty. So I'm just going to wrap it around and then twist it on itself. And then I'll add a bit of hot glue and put the halo into place. Okay, so this is where I realized that the eye hook was just not going to work. So I removed it and I tried to place it back, but it just wasn't going to work. The hair was too thick, but it definitely hangs better if you place that hook towards the back. I instead ended up adding this string and just adding a good dollop of hot glue. And you can see how I'm fixing my mistake here and I'll add hot glue and put that into place and it ends up hanging just fine. So if you do end up making the mistake, then you can fix it. And if you want, you could also glue a string on the backside of the head instead of the eye hook, but I really wanted to create a sturdy hanger, but that was my own fault. I should have tested things out before I continued. So I wanted to add just a little bit of another vintage touch by adding this beautiful vintage button to the middle of that bow. And now we are going to add our gorgeous cluster. So you're gonna to wanna to flip the skirt back as we have a few times, generously add some hot glue to the inside of our wood pot. And then you will want to gather your cluster at the top here and then press it into the inside of your pot. Here I'm using my finger just to really push it inside and that will keep it all together. Now I am just folding the skirt down and she's ready to hang on your wall for the Christmas season. I think she's absolutely Gorgeous. I am so happy with how this turned out. I can't wait to hang it up in my master bedroom where I love to add a romantic, shabby, chic, vintage inspired Christmas DIYs. As always, I would love for you to let me know what you think by leaving me a comment down below. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. For more Christmas inspiration, you can tap on the link here to the right. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!